What's up there crew, Matt here with TRW. So you, have you ever mistakenly mixed stone sizes? Or maybe on purpose if you're doing a flat back project like Maddie's cup that I did in her water bottle where I had a mixture of sixes and tens and sixteens and everything stones. But then after the job, you want to get them back into their original containers. Stick around, I'm going to show you a little trick. Alright, so what I got here is just one of these basically drawers and dividers and storage containers that you can get at Michael's. I got this one probably, shoot, seven, eight years ago I did a video on this. And I know a lot of you are newer and may not have seen this video yet. So I wanted to do it again. So I have a flat back stone. So I'm going to do different colors just so it's easier for you guys to see. So I have some SS6 and some SS10 diamond cut flat back stones. Let's just act like they're both crystal. I just want you to see the difference color wise. But you're doing a job with flat backs and you want a mixture of all those stones to be able to easily grab just completely random ones. But then you want to divide them back into your bags after the fact. Check this out. I'm going to take the top here. I'm going to flip it around. I have my drawer good to go. I'm going to take my SS10s. Let's pour all of those in there. I'm going to take my SS6s. I know this hurts your heart to watch this, doesn't it? All the 6s right there. All mixed together, right? But the mesh and the holes on these are the perfect size to where when I brush these around, check this out. All of those SS6 stones are dropping into the actual drawer before where every single one of the SS10 are staying on top and I'm done so I can pull this drawer out now and there's every single one of my green SS6 stones not one SS10 is in there because it can't fit through the mesh holes here and here is every single one of my SS10 stones that I can just dump in the next drawer down there all done with that let's grab our bag here I got my emerald here first. Throw them into the corner there real quick. Dump them right back into the back. And we're back to where we started. Let's do our crystal real quick. Drop them into the corner there. Back into the bag. And there we go. We're done. Alright, so that's it. That was pretty easy, right? So hopefully that helps you guys out and saves you some time. You know my goal with all these videos is to save you time. Even though it's something like this, if you're spending 15, 20, 30 minutes to do something like that and separate all those stones, that's 30 minutes that you can be finding new customers and making more money. Now, I know a lot of comments are going to be, well, Matt, what if you mix the colors? I have a solution for that as well. They're called children. If the kids get in trouble, hey, who knows? Separate all these stones one by one with colors. So it's not going to help you with mixing colors, but mixing sizes, especially sixes and tens on something like this, very easy. I have on order a few different things I'm bringing in here. I have a pretty cool idea for all sizes that I think is going to be pretty freaking awesome. So once I get those in, I test them out. I'll make a video on that, whether it works or doesn't work and we'll figure something out. So thanks for watching guys. Now let's see who our mini pack winner of the week is. All right, so our winner for today's mini pack right there, Hot Designs. So Hot Designs comment from Monday's video was, thank you Matt for the guideline to expedite fees as a small business owner. It's often difficult to judge industry fair costs of services that go beyond the normal sales process. It is very easy for small startup business owners to undervalue their time just to make a sale. I did that all the time and I'm sure most of you have, right? While larger established businesses have no qualms about indicating the cost for a rush order. I really appreciate the very valid and timely business practices and guidelines that you share with the apparel decoration industry. Hot Designs, appreciate it. Mini pack of choice, yours on the website. Shoot us an email, info at rhinestoneworld.com. But the divider that I used here today is that guy right there, okay? I put a link in the description below to it. I think it's around $30 
for a 10 drawer storage so it's multi-purpose you can store stuff we store a lot of transfers in these as well before i made that video of all those shelves that we built we had probably 10 of these where we would store all of our actual transfers so really cool for that also great for scrap vinyl as well so for 30 bucks you get a stone divider and a transfer holder or scrap vinyl holder so thanks for watching guys of course make sure to click that like button right there make sure to click that subscribe button the little bell next to it and make sure to comment below because on friday i'm going to pick another winner from the comments for a mini pack of choice we have over 170 mini packs on the website now different designs that are going to help your business so comment below thanks for watching guys you guys have an amazing day later